Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got a cookout. I got Matt inside right now. He's trying to figure out how to make some uh, mac and cheese. It's not going too well for him, but that's okay. We're gonna help him out. We're gonna get some info from him, see how he's doing it. I'm making some baked beans, got some chicken wings, got the whole team coming to the cookout. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching. Let's get this thing started, all right? Let's get to it. Uh, making mac and cheese. Making what kind of mac and cheese? Homemade. All right, you were you were born for the camera, Matt. What 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 do we got here? What are all the ingredients? What's going um, on? So you know, Green White didn't have the sharp cheddar cheese. They only had mild. So we're gonna have to work with mild. All right. So what what is this? How many? How many what do we got? Mild and Mexican. Okay. Cheddar. Gotcha. Um, so what's the general game plan? Give me a general game plan. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, the game plan is just to make it good. Make it really cheesy. That's right. the game plan. Have a lot of cheese, so it's just cheese. All right, so while Matt is over there trying to figure that out, I'm going to start the baked beans. Uh, so the first thing that I do, see, I like, uh, you know, some bacon in my beans. So I take about, I got a thick, thick sliced bacon. So okay. take about that I much. Make some quesadillas for right there. The buffalo. And obviously, the buffalo chicken not sandwich. ideal, but... Look what's going on over there. That's not ideal either. So, <laughs> I got myself a little pan here, and I just cut it into sli cut it into chunks. So I want the chunks to be like about that big. So, and they don't, it doesn't have to be precise, really, at all. Um, I just, you know, slice it and dice it, and it can be all, like, it can be dirty, like, you know, these aren't exact fine pieces, but, um, <laughs> You know, do it however you like. If you want to dice it really small, then that's what you can do. You want to explain what you're doing? Just my water boiled. So now I'm pouring my my elbows one pound. Is that are you sponsored? Not sponsored. Mm -hmm. No, in a no, 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 no. Right. That's gonna it's gonna be real close to overflowing. Probably will. Yeah, I'm gonna um, Hey, the top? No, 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 we're gonna... Water. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. We're gonna burn. Okay, so, either, regardless, for the people at home, we got you. We got some macaroni going, right? Okay. We're gonna burn? Then what else we got? Oh, okay. Right, what is this over here in the pan? It's my egg. egg. Mixed with some milk. All right, egg mixed with milk. All right, good update. All right, so Whoa, now that uh, obviously Matt is completely lost at this point, um, I just put the bacon in the pan. I got the heat on, and uh, I'm gonna stir it and cook it down. Yep. Look at that. He's asking for help. It's amazing. Just okay, sure cook it down. Put. This is a mess. <laughs> cook the bacon down until it's cooked, and uh, then I'll put it in the beans. What's happened, Matt? Um, what? <laughs> Maybe uh, um... not ideal. Not ideal, but still gonna taste good. Okay. It's about the journey. You All get right. to the end, and the end's gonna be great. Right, all it's all that now. Okay. That's not all of it, though. That's only half of it. That's half of. Do you need a big? Do you need a bigger? Pan? No, that's it. That's the biggest pan we got. All right, so we got. <laughs> A lot. A lot, of, a mac lot of mac and cheese for the future. Yeah, great. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, good night. Oh yeah, definitely didn't yeah. start that for this. But I just <laughs> ran that. I thought I was recording the whole time. I just filled up this thing uh, full of five cans of beans. They didn't have the family size. So uh, next, I put mustard in there. It is not an exact science. You can put as much or as little as you want. You don't have to put any in there if you don't want. I usually do about that much. Next is brown sugar. All right. Now I throw in some brown sugar. Again, you can put however much you want. I put in a pretty decent amount. Um, I like my beans to be pretty sweet. So that was probably like, this is a 16 ounce bag. That's probably like a third of a bag. And then, give that a stir. I'm gonna get it mixed up pretty good. 
And then the last thing is bacon. All right, so then I got the uh, bacon that I just cooked down. And I'm putting that in there as well. And then you just stir it up real good. You want, I should have probably mentioned this earlier, but you're gonna want your uh, oven heat preheated to uh, about 375. I, I think, I think Matt is, uh, Matt has the oven at like 350, so we're just gonna have to make it work at 350. But, um, and then you leave it in there for about an hour. So, um, yeah. All right, we gotta throw in the oven. If Matt would not move out of the way. Yeah. All right, Matt, what do you got going on? What are you doing here? Uh, making the cheese now. It's a little liquidy, but it'll get there. It'll All right. Get there. So you have faith? I have a lot of faith. All right, so then that goes into here, right? Yep. All right, well, we'll see if it fits. All right, so we are doing the chicken wings next. So I got them basically in a big pan. I'm just making sure they're all, uh, you know, not stuck together because we're about to season them. So this is my probably my favorite way of doing wings. Uh, I do it like this. But I, I just think that the seasoning sticks a whole lot better. So what you want to do is you want to get some canola oil. I think canola oil just works better, gives it better skin. Um, and I just spray them. I mean, like when I say spray, I mean you know, you want to give give them a good good layer of. Uh, Oil. Like do not, do not uh, hold back any. And then you want to, you got to get a little dirty, but you want to mix them up a little bit. And then I usually give them like one more spray, just to make sure that you know there's an even coating all the way around. And uh, doing this really, it really just kind of helps that skin get real crispy and gives them a nice brown golden color. <laughs> Matt, Matt is still, I mean, Lord knows what he's doing. Um, but then we got the seasoning. The seasoning I am using today is Everglades Cactus Dust. So, uh, set up and, and uh, I'm, I go generous with it. Um, I don't hold back at all. <laughs> Obviously, you can do it to taste, but um, personally, like, I like my wings, and I know my team likes my wings um, very seasoned, so I definitely don't hold back. I'll use a lot. And then once again, um, I'll mix all that in there. Just, you know, hey, you got to get a little dirty when you're making magic sometimes. And then uh, that's well, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Dust it over. And boom. And half the time, I've accomplished twice as much as that. Yeah. But there, that's how we do it. And uh, honestly, the next time I see you, I don't even know if I'm going to finish up with Matt. Uh, next time I see you, I think, well, we're going to be at the grills. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. So Cam, where are we at, Cam? My boy, why are you finna throw down? You see? You got the good one. He's not just a basketball player, he's also a, a great cook. All right, well, thank you. But you've never also eaten my food yet. I can tell. Okay, all right. I can tell right. the season is the best. Yeah. Don't call me. Do you mind being on video? Yeah. I love it. All right. <laughs> Say hello to my YouTube channel. What's hey, up, man? how's it going? They're a bunch of good people. All right, we're about to get down. <laughs> See, the struggle earlier is over. We finally made it. Um, I can't tell you what the mac and cheese is going to taste like, but it's here. It all right. is. That's fair. Okay. He's well hydrated. Can you see it? Yeah. When Tally isn't really Tally anymore. I thought, I'm not gonna lie, when we were driving up, I thought that was a bunch of people on top, but it's. Oh, what? Did you get it, boo? Did you get it, boo? Did you try the shrimp? Will, how you doing, buddy? Did I? What, Will, what did you just eat? Oh, oh. Hello. I gotta try one. That's delicious. 
Try the beans. Try the beans. What do you think? Yeah, try them. Give it. What do you think? One out of ten. Oh my God, ten. Wait, I want to try the beans. All right. Way too tall to be that. Hey, what's your stuff? Hey. <laughs> yeah. Alright, give that testimonial, man. What, you're different, bro. You're different. Like you're different. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Chef Boy R. White. Mm. Mm. Sauce up. Oh. It's good. <laughs> Will, what do you have to say, Will? 10 out of 10. As always with the Wolf's machine. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it. I uh, couldn't get an outro there. It got really dark. There was only one burner on the grill working, so it made my life extremely difficult to get everything cooked, uh, you know, and to you know get all the film and everything. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know we did. Um, I do these cookouts, you know, once or twice a summer and every once in a while and, you know, we just, uh, you know, wanted to celebrate as a team, celebrate Labor Day and, um, you know, just do some team bonding and eat some good food. So thanks for coming along with us and uh, like usual, like, subscribe and have a good one, everybody.